Ah, good day, bonjour, konnichiwa, sawadi, uh, after re, it's me, Table, and welcome to an episode of Kerbal Space Program. We are going to the moon today. Oh, I've just given away what I'm going to do. Resume saved. Meh, table, noob. Oh. Where's my table YouTube thing? Reputation minus 58. I think that's the... F I think that's it. Oh, well, it has to be. It's the only one I've got. Um, so thank you to... Um, they told me that I can upgrade this launch pad. So now, in my vehicle assembly plant, right... Uh, rather than having a 30 ton ship limit, let's go here, look, so I've now got a 140 friggin ton ship limit, which means my next mission is to the moon. Oh, I've got, to, I've got, to, wait, 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 wait. I've got to accept the mission first. Now I've not done the to, to the moon tutorial. Uh, what is it? Uh, mission control? So there should be one, uh, focus over station Kerbin. Moon, moon, moon. Explore the moon. Yeah, I explore the moon. Uh, no, forget that. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so I get paid for getting near the moon, and I get paid for getting on the moon. So you know, uh, let's have one of those. Um, let's see. So I am. Um, I'm not expecting to get back. If I'm honest, I, I doubt I'm gonna get back. If I'm if I'm frank, am I frank? I'll, I'll be frank. Fine, I'll be frank. Uh, that one, yeah. Now the arrow needs to point. I guess the arrow needs to point. Oh, I'm not so sure. Uh, so we need like a little space pod, right? Like a little pod. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> I have no idea what to do. I have no idea how to actually get to the moon. Uh, I'll take a fuel tank, right, and I'll put on a, oh, what's the one for going in space, that one, the terrier. Okay, we'll put a terrier on, okay, and then I'll make, like, landy legs. Where are the landy legs? Yeah, so we can have, uh, is it X? Yeah, it snaps on, so we're going to have three legs, right? So that's our, that's our moon ship, right? Can I tell them to retract? No. There we go, start retracted. There we go. So we've got our deploy legs. Uh, let's open this and put in some batteries, right? Do I want to try and communicate some science back to base? Maybe, you know? But let's just go uh, batteries. None of those are batteries. Utility. None of those are batteries. Oh, uh, why would I need a parachute on the moon? It, just in case we do come back at some point. <laughs> um, what do we need? What else do I need? Uh, I'm not sure what I need for a space trip. Batteries was what I was going for. Where would batteries live? I forget. Uh, ah, okay. So let's just go. Uh, oh, what's rotate again? Ah, oh, there we go. So triple battery. I think triple battery is fine. I think that's enough batteries to get us there. Close. Um, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Decoupler. So parachute decoupler, let's change that. So parachute is the final stage. We've got another decoupler. Now what I need is a huge amount of fuel. Uh, bonk. Bonk. Because this is going to be the real... Why am I doing it so zoomed in? That's the real workhorse engine, that one. That's the one that's going to get me to where I need to go. Uh, so I'm going to put an engine on there, right? Oh, maybe we should use more fuel. I might put more fuel because it's going to have to get us to the moon. So uh, let's put... Um, which one's got more thrust? 167, 205, bang. We'll put that on. Okay, so um, that's quite a lot of fuel, no? Um... And then uh, more decouplers. Let's just keep this up. I want to check my weight. 12 tons only, so that's fine. Uh, radial, let's do eight. So I'm going to do that right, and I'm going to put on solid boosters. Like that, right? That's a lot of boosters. 
Okay, you know what? I'm 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 a okay with that. Let's split those two up. So liquid and then little engine once I'm on the moon. So that's definitely escape velocity. So let's go to aerodynamics and put on some aerodynamic nose cones uh, and some stabilizing fins. Okay, so we're gonna go like that. And then let's put on another pair, like so. I think that's sufficient to get us uh, where we need to go. Right, that's to the moon. To the moon. One. I reckon that's uh, perfect, if I'm honest. I reckon that's definitely going to get us there. <laughs> We're going to go to the moon. Having too much thrust could be a problem. Put on stabilize assist. What button is that? Q? No. Okay, right, we're off. Now, apparently I should turn and execute a gravity turn. I think these solid boosters are going to get me into orbit, by far. The trouble is, the speed that I'll be travelling in the atmosphere, might I might just explode. This is the biggest rocket I've built to date, by the way. The absolute super biggest rocket I've ever built. There we go. Into space. Oh, I know it's a lot of rocket to get going. That's so much thrust. Oh, no, I don't want to heat up on exit. Don't, don't, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Just slow down a little bit. Just slow down a little bit. I mean, that's definitely escape velocity. There we go. I'm cooling down now. Let's just jettison those stages. <laughs> Glorious. So this is the engine that's going to get me to the moon. <gasps> Look at the decoupled sections. I didn't know they looked like that. I mean, I was pretty pleased with myself there, to be honest. So, to the map. Now, this person here is our stranded astronaut right there. Um, how unfortunate for them. But they're just going to float around forever. Uh, is that the moon? Ah, oh, yeah, there's the moon. Okay, so... Let's just check my fuel. Loads of fuel left. Still heading out. Now I do believe we can cut engines. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna achieve orbit. So let's just turn. So, so far so good, right? When we get to the Apopopis, I can set an orbit. Uh, so we just need to speed up time until we get there. There we go. We're not there yet, but. There we go. And then I need to click on, oh, I need to bring up the nav ball. I think it's numpad dot, yeah it is. So I need to autopilot to the, stability assist is on. Are you gonna send me, are you gonna, why won't you let me move to the apopopis? Have I gotta do it manually? Why is my autopilot not letting me do that? Okay. Oh, it's cause I don't have the rotary things, isn't it? Come on, just go, go, go. I can establish orbit, it's fine. I'm kind of roughly in the right spot. Or establish orbit, more than enough fuel, and then we can head off to the moon. Easy, e totally, totally easily done here. Oh, it's a lot of fuel I'm using. I've still got lots of fuel though. Let's just uh, angle this a little bit more, like so. Is this enough fuel to get me to the moon? Like, it might not even get me in orbit. I let my speed bleed off too much, I think. Let me know. I really, really want to be scrutinized in this. Uh... Come on, surely that's enough now. We're in orbit. Cut engines. Did my engines cut out? Yeah, we're good. We're in orbit. We are officially in friggin' orbit. Where's the moon? So, we're gonna do this the old fashioned way, right? I'm gonna look for the moon. There it is. I'm gonna turn towards it, and then we're gonna go towards the moon. 
So, that looks about right to me. Yep, and now we go for main segment burn, and then I've got my little engine. So off we go, so full speed towards the moon. That looks good, we look on course. <laughs> totally going to the moon. So we go full thrust to the moon. <gasps> okay, and then while our mass is light, I'm just gonna send this onwards. There we go. And that's us off. I can't get over this. This is so amazing. Look at my orbit thing. <laughs> I'm just going out. What's that planet? Minimus? Am I gonna hit the moon? This is immense. Napple. Okay, so. I really, if I land first time on the moon, that's gonna be the most amazing thing ever. <gasps> uh, I'm leaving the, I'm leaving. I'm leaving, I'm leaving Earth. <laughs> I wish I'd taken some science data stuff. This is the first time ever in playing this game that I've left Earth's orbit or Kerbal's orbit. I don't think I'm going to hit the moon, you know? And my autopilot stuff is not there. So I think it's because I didn't have the rotary disc things. This is insane. Um, should I? I'm not going to take any science. I tell you what, I need so I took so many side fuel boosters, and really I felt like that was a bit of a waste of, of fuel. Ah, oh, you know what? I think I might hit the moon because it's orbiting the right direction. We might get there. Let's just speed it up a little bit. Oh, the moon! I'm, I'm by the moon. I'm right by the moon. So I need to kill my speed, right? So let's rotate round. Right, I need to kill my speed. That's what I need to do. Just kill my speed. Come on, kill my speed, kill my speed. Just need to slow down. Can I get sucked into the moon's gravity? Come on, kill my speed. Got to kill my engines. I've got to have some thrust at least to. Oh, I've just got to go for it. I just got to try. Okay, I'm still going really, really fast. <coughs> that's that's a lunar orbit. I think I just hit a lunar orbit. I didn't take any scanning devices with me. Okay, so I'm out of fuel. But maybe the moon's gravity will suck me in. Maybe. Maybe? Let's have a look on the map. <laughs> oh no! Okay, so I've got another person trapped in orbit of the moon. But they haven't come back. I've got, I'm gonna have to become like this rescue specialist. Cause I've got one stuck in Earth's orbit. And now one stuck orbiting the moon. Oh man. Um, that's not changing, is it? That's not changing anytime soon, is it? I can't get over that you can just look at the moon and that works. That's ridiculous. If I just had one more fuel canister, I could have landed. But now we've just stranded poor, uh, who is it? Valentina. You're orbiting the moon really fast. Oh, it's because I sped up time, that's why. <gasps> You've traveled the furthest any anyone has ever traveled. You are now orbiting the moon. If oxygen was a thing in this game, you'd be dead, but you're not. And I thought rescuing someone from orbit around Kerbal was gonna be difficult. This is like so far beyond my skill level. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so. I now know that that rocket will take a little damage on exit. It's, it's overpowered to leave uh, Kerbal's orbit. 
But I don't have the tech to get me... Oh, man. Uh, I don't want to revert flight. I want to go to the space center. Okay, so we've <laughs> left someone in the moon's orbit. But they're safe as sound up there. Let's go to the tracking station. Where's the tracking station? <gasps> 240,000. Oh, I made so much cash for that. I, what was I on? 80 when I left? Mm. Science 59. Does that buy me anything? Where's my science? Now, what I desperately need on the science tree is this, right? The solar panel. Because I need to be able to top up my power. That's the issue that I have. 90 science and I've got 57. I desperately need more science. Material study from upper atmosphere. Material study whilst in space. All right, okay. Yeah, recover a vessel returned from curve in orbit. Oh, okay, haven't quite got that yet. Okay, fine. Moho. <laughs> What's Moho? Is that the moon? <laughs> It can't, that can't be the moon, surely. Ah, look, yeah, there we go, moon. <gasps> no way. There's so much to explore. Minus and Moon. Duna and I Aiki. No way. There's so much exploring to do. Okay, cray craze. So, we got paid. Um, that's glorious. Tracking station. Uh, there we go. So... <laughs> to the moon and table 12 YouTube is so table 12 is still stuck in 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 orbit we need to rescue them and bring them home somehow but we also have <laughs> how do I even view them where's the moon Can we go yeah so we've got someone here you are the loneliest Kerbal in in the, in, every, in the world at the moment okay it, I got it I got it they are orbiting the moon I did that. I don't know how I managed that. I'm so pleased with myself right now. Okay. Um, so I need some help, right? First of all, I need to get 90 science, okay? I need 90 science to unlock solar panels because I can't transmit data from multiple positions on the trip because I can't recharge my frigging batteries. So it's a little bit of a problem. I do need to make a more steadfast spacefaring vessel as well because I feel like that's really excessive I feel like I don't necessarily need that much for us to get me into orbit or do I but I'm still way lower on tolerances only half the weight of my vessel so I could probably get a much larger thing into space I have to revise it I think we're good I think that's me for now I think I'm gonna put that out rather than recording loads I'm just gonna do one and then you can let me know you know how I got on. <laughs> I've been table. Thanks so much for watching. I officially got someone in orbit around the moon. I'm so chuffed. I'll see you again soon. Take care. Don't forget. Uh, yeah.